Now, as Procourt County evokes memories of incidents of feuding communities, cattle rustling, and pastoralism, little has been said about the county's food security and economic growth. Our reporter Elvis Kosge is in Sigor constituency in that county and now joins us live to explain how the way way irrigation scheme is changing fortunes for the people there. Elvis, over to you. Thank you very much, Michelle. Currently, I'm at the foot of Kowo and Mutelo Hills here in Weiwei location, Sigol constituency in West Pokot County. And as you mentioned, uh, two decades are uh, such centers which I'm standing here uh, could not have any business uh, conducted because of the runaway insecurity that has continued to wreak havoc in the Kerio Valley Triangle. By the moment you can see businesses as mushroomed uh, courtesy of the Weiwei irrigation scheme which I'm told that has offered employment opportunities uh, for more than 300 people. It's an initiative that uh, was launched last year by President Uhuru Kenyatta under the Weiwei irrigation scheme uh, which is also under the Weiwei Integrated Development Project. Na labda nize kuzungumza na mkazi. Tumona kwamba kumekuwa na irrigation ya faro irrigation, tumona kuna ile ya sprinkler na tumona kwamba licha maeneo mengine kame kuwa na ukame, hapa kidogo pamekuwa na tofauti. Je, wewe kama mkazi hali namna gani hapa? Naam, nashukuru kwanza mimi ni mkaja wa eneo hili. Na je, nilikuwa ninasema tu ni kwamba baada ya kupata hayo maendeleo tumeweza ku eh, wananchi wameweza kufanya ni kufaidika katika mradi huu na pengine tunaomba serikali iweze kutuongezea at least miradi mingine wakati sijayo aswa so, size ni that phase lakini tu watuongezee pia ile ya fourth phase yeah lakini mradi wenyewe umetusaidia sana imejaribu kusaidia familia yani families karibu 300 hivi yeah na imekuwa ni amana sana ndio kwa hivyo pia kuna maendeleo mengine ambayo tunaiomba kama barabara naona kama net barabara ni toxic siwezi kufanya nini siingie huko milima milima huko uh -huh. ili watu waweze kuleta misigo yao kama matunda kama nini iweze kuleta sigor okay eh, kama labda niweze kuzungumza na mwanadada uniambie anakuita nani na umefaidika kivipi na nini yapi hasa ungependa angaziwe kwa majina naitwa Loita Tumdimfin mkaaji wa sigor ni kenye napenda kuomba serikali naomba ya kwamba utusaidie barabara utujengee mashule hospitali huku tuko na shida ya hospitali Na pia hatuna dawa. Kitu ingine ni kuhusu stima. Tuko na shida stima pia. Kama ile dawa ya hiyo ya kuweka kwa fridge ya injection zinaharibika haraka kwa sababu hakuna stima. Alafu ingine kenye naweza naweza ongezea. Ndio. Wacha nimalize nawe kaka. Kwa machina mimi naitwa Joseph Kibruta mkaa sio hapa Weiwei. Sisi tunamba serikali tusaidia kwa mamba ya barabara, mamba ya irrigation kama hii ya KVDA, ili isaidie e, wanainchi kwa mamba ya chakula, ndio watu wasiwa kiangamia mamba ya nani kuwamba msada ya chakula. So kama waiwe, irrigation scheme imetusaidia sana kwa sababu sikuisi si atapana panga laini kama kuangojia chakula ya msada. So tunamba serikali tusaidie kabisa. Okay. Thank you very much. Michelle, you've heard from section of West Pokot residents, and of course it's good news to them. Uh, they used to have resource-based conflict where they depended uh, largely on animals, but now I'm told the issue of cattle rustling slowly dying, and now they're depending on farming that uh, I'm told that it will provide uh, initiative to different people here. But now, according to KVDAs, that they now want the government to initiate tough and innovative policies that will help help uh, to steer the economic growth of not only this place but also uh, Kenya at large. Michelle. Many thanks.